Here we go, another week, another family. Hi, we're the Walkers. I'm Anthony. I'm Alice Walker. We have three beautiful children. Anthony, who's 12. Shut get... up! Ah! Nalayla, who's six years old. Yay, with disrespect. Baby Alyssa, who's 14 months. <laughs> that little baby's so cute. And we have my sister's son, Marcus. And he's 17. He's from Chicago. He wanted a different life. What is that? I'm a counselor at a juvenile detention center. I have a licensed daycare business in my house. Look at the children. <laughs> Anthony. He has a challenging personality. Yeah. I mean, he's just always into something. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Uh-oh. I mean, but he's on the honor roll. He's the star basketball player on his sixth grade team. So we know he can do it. Put this stuff away before I have to use it. <laughs> yeah, you think it's funny? I want to find a different way of dealing with Anthony versus spankings or hitting. And I, I don't want to have to hurt you, so come on. Can you believe this? We never had bedtime for our kids. Our kids just go to bed when we go to bed. Time to go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Go to bed. Now, Layla's biggest problem right now is just going into her own room at night, going to sleep. You sure you don't want to go on and go in your room? No. It's pretty frustrating dealing with her doing that. Cut it off. There was four in the bed, and the little one said, nobody's rolling over here. OK, oh. baby. Alyssa and the mom is like a Siamese twin. They connected together. They you can't pry them loose. This little girl's like a koala bear. She never comes down on her own. Two bananas, I don't know how fast you can get here but get her as quick as you can. We need you like yesterday. This family's got out of hand. They need my help straight away. Can you step on it, please? Hello. Oh, my God, you're coming to here. Hey, Joe. Oh, my God. I am so glad. Look who's here. Got your hands full here? Uh, yeah. Hi. These are some of my daycare kids. This is my daughter, Nalayla. Nalayla, come and Nalayla, say hi. pleased to meet you. How old are you? Six. Alyssa is sleeping, but Alyssa is actually the youngest here at the daycare. And that's that's my little one. She's about 14 months. Oh, hey, what's your name? This is my nephew, Marcus. Hi, Marcus. Pleased to meet you. Joe is in my house, looking over my shoulder. My thought is, Oh my God, what is she gonna find wrong? Hey! Hey! Keep for a ride. Um, you guys, are y'all ready to get ready for rest time? No! No! I know this time. As the daycare kids went down for a nap, I noticed that Mum had Alyssa latched onto her. I'm still nursing Alyssa. That'll happen all day, every day for the most part. Still so little, and because when I'm nursing her, she just want to nurse, like, all the time, you know? Nursing Alyssa, I can't get a lot of the things done because I find myself sitting down, spending time with her. So it's easier to keep her close to just have her right here. Having my daycare business in my house, it's a great thing. I love working with the kids. But when daycare ends, my kids are out of control and running around you know, making noise, and it's like my day is starting all over again. This is my son, Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Pleased to meet you. I'm Joe. Hiya. Where are your hands at? It's cold. Hi. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Y'all can play, but don't tear the house down. When daycare had ended, I saw once again that Alyssa had lifted up Mum's shirt whilst the kids were playing around. Yeah. Don't kick. And when things got too rough, Mum stepped in. It's been... Oh, no! Wait a minute. Don't stand on my stuff, either. But it was ridiculous. She was hitting the kids to stop them from hitting themselves. How effective is that? Oh, no doubt. I've got my work cut out for me here. Go. Later on in the afternoon, Dad came home. Hi, please. Hi. Nice to meet you. Anthony. Alice told me that her kids' behaviour got much worse when the daycare was over. 
So I want to find out from Anthony when he gets home exactly what it's like for him. When I come back, then I help Anthony with homework, Layla getting uh, settled, help with the baby, dinner. It's like I come home from work, and there's, there's other things to do at home with Alice. You know, my days are pretty extended. You know, Anthony's a really laid-back guy, and he helps out a lot when Mum has to deal with Alicia all the time. When Anthony's doing the cooking and dealing with that and the kids have left, what do you do then? Alyssa pretty much wants to just be with for me you. for the most part. I know I need to be able to put Alyssa down, you know, so I can move around and do some other things, but also know that this is my baby. I love her, you know. I want to be with her. So you're kind of stuck, aren't you, really? You can't move anywhere because she's on you and you're kind of stuck on the sofa, really. Yeah. Like some mothers, Alice is really struggling to let go of that feeding bond, and rightly so. But actually, what it's doing is holding them both back on so many levels. Earlier on, I saw Mum spank the kids, and I just don't approve of the way she uses her hand. You know, kids learn from their parents, and it's just made things worse. So it is time to discuss this once and for all. And what discipline do you both use? We, we've given Anthony spankings. <laughs> I mean, we've taken toys away from them, we've taken a TV. I do a lot of uh, whoopings. I do whoopings. I mean, whoopings, smacking, spanking. Yeah, that's what called whoopings. I find that that's the only way, and, and really, that's not even working. That's what I'm saying. That's why I know I need to do something else. The spanking's not effective, and Mum's really confused on how to manage her children's own naughty behaviour. It was getting rather late and everyone was still awake when Mum was trying to put them into bed. I mean, what is she thinking? Layla's six years old and Alyssa's 14 months. Everybody try to break it down and go to sleep. <laughs> Bedtime was definitely a mess in my house. I'm not going to play this game. Get down. This is taking too long. I'm exhausted. Just trying. Get down and go to sleep. I don't sleep well. I don't sleep well at all. Layla, stop being silly. <laughs> Layla, would you stop? <laughs> Layla, come on. <laughs> Layla, just, it's just it's playtime for you. I'm not getting up anymore, like. Layla, come on, Layla. I'm not finna play this, this, this back and forth game with you. Mom and Dad finally gave up and turned the lights off for good. But somebody wasn't ready to go to bed. <laughs> Layla, go to bed. Oh, I don't like bedtime because I want to play. <laughs> Layla, can you please lay down? What's going on? It was 10 o'clock when Layla decided she'd log on to the computer. And at that point, I decided I would be logging out of the house. From what I can see, Mum has really got herself into some bad habits. And I do need to sit both Anthony and Alice down and talk to them straight away about making some drastic changes. So let me talk about the first thing that I have noticed. Bedtime. What is going on at bedtime? It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I tell you what, I think I saw more action upstairs than I have in Times Square. Unbelievable that all of you are in your bed. I don't even know how you managed to have Alicia. Somehow we did it. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Alicia is 14 months old and she should be in her own bed. That child has got dark circles underneath her eyes. A child of her age should be having at least 12 hours of sleep. And let me talk about the next thing. What form of discipline do you use? I, I do spankings. It shouldn't take physical punishment for your kids to respect you and to listen to what you're saying at all. Let's talk about Alicia. And you've got her attached to you like koala bears. You're not allowing her to actually get a sense of actually feeling it's OK to be here by myself and engage in the toys that are in front of me whilst mum's only 10 foot away cooking dinner. Because I think she's become your pacifier. That's what she wants. She wants to be nursed and she wants me to feed her like whenever she wants to, like all the time. So 
What do I do? Deny her or say no, you know, this is not the time or... But she doesn't need to be on your breast 24-7. Okay. If she was two weeks old or four weeks old, yes. If you choose to, as a mother, to continue to breastfeed, that's your prerogative, OK? However, with limitations on that, it means that your child can engage and reach those milestones and develop. It also means that it will allow her to recognise that she can engage and socialise with other children and not feel the dependency to have to cling to you at every stage. All the situations that we have here, we will be able to find a resolution for the situations, without a doubt, because they are clear as day. I'm really ready to just put a lot of Joe's um, ideas into motion. Um, because it, it, every, everyone in their life needs change. And I think that Joe's suggestion can, can only help our family. So are you ready for the hard work? Because trust me, I do not deal lightly. Are we ready? Ready. You take it or leave it. That's kind of how she told me. You gonna do this or you not, we can move on. So I decided to take it. All right, good. Let's go then. Alice's parenting skills are not effective, yet she's doing nothing to change those skills and she's getting the same results over and over again. So today I'm starting with rules for the kids and the parents. OK, kids, these are house rules. Listen to these house rules and stick with them. Speak respectfully to one another with no name calling, all right? Play! Don't hurt. And the last one here, respect your bedtime. Bedtime is bedtime, full stop. The kids had their rules, so now it's time for mum and dad's. I have given mum and dad rules as well. Rules for us? No spanking, OK? <laughs> oh, Marcus is smiling hard there. <laughs> Lots of positive praise, OK? Because you guys need to hear from your parents when you're doing well. The kids have, like, their own things they have to follow, and the parents have their own rules. So it's just keeping us together. So who heard me? Great. OK, let's have fun. All of you are going to work together and cooperate with one another, because between you all, you're going to do a short play for me. Since I've been with the Walker family, I haven't seen them do anything fun as a family together. And families need to do that. So I had them put on a play. And I gave them each a section that they would be in charge of. And this is how we're going to do it. Anthony, costume. Marcus, I'm going to give you props. Anthony, I'm going to give you the characters. With the tasks aside, they jumped right in. And Dad started to give out the characters. Marcus, Marcus is mood boy. Uh -huh. Alice is mother Wait, nerd. I'm not being no mother nerd. Uh -huh. Listen, ah, character fight. I'm gonna be Jesus. bully man. Up action, boy. Nah, you LB. I'm not gonna be in this play then. Yeah. If I can be right. a nerd, no. you can be lazy boy. You know what? Well, right. I'm not being in this play. I'm going upstairs. I am accused. Everybody was really working well together. However, Anthony Jr. I didn't like his character name, so he walked off really angry. If you don't get to the table on the count of three, it's gonna be a week. I'm not in One. Two. But after a warning, Anthony Jr. came back to the table. The thing is, his anger had turned into big-time attitude. What was the problem that you found with Lazy Boy? Let's Just start from there. No, no, no. Care. What was the what was the You're conflict? Time. No, the care. problem being wasted is your attitude right now. Do you need to be excused from the table? Yes. Anthony was being patient and he tried to explain, but Anthony Jr. just didn't want to listen to him. Anthony, this is a play that we're all doing. Without you, they can't do it, OK? Because it's a family play. So it's about compromise, communicating and cooperating. Anthony can, can get me pretty upset. And with the play, I dug deep and had a lot more patience with him because, you know, you know, just trying to lead by example for him. So what, what are you going to be? You can pick anything you want. Is little man a good one to you? No, little man. Anthony Jr. did come around, but I don't think he truly respects his family. But after all, this is about the play. It's about all of them, and I'll have a separate word with Anthony Jr. later. I'm super smart. I want to put on a play. Like, oh my gosh, 
You can wear a mask. Y'all ready? <laughs> Go back to the 70s. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. No bullying people today. Hey! Sir. Hey! <laughs> you ready for me to handle this bully? Stop picking with That's her, Mr. Bully. That's bully. the end. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The point for me wasn't really about the play that you put on. It was about the cooperation, the putting the ideas together, and the way in which that was communicated to one another. Putting on a play for Joe was a great thing, but we've never sat down and worked together and tried to figure out something, you know, that we can do it to have everybody's input. We're gonna definitely incorporate that and keep that in our lives. Half half team. Half half team. Lucy, half five, baby. Yeah, half five. Half five. Bedtime in this house, it's awful. You've got four in a bed, no regular bedtime, and nobody's getting a wink of sleep. So I'm introducing the stay in bed technique to mum and dad. What we are doing tonight is putting Layla into our own bed to sleep this evening. Give Layla a story, kiss her goodnight, and come out of her bedroom. When she comes into your bedroom, I want you to say to her, it's bedtime, darling. Take her by the hand and tuck her back into her bed. The second time she comes out, I want you to say to her, bedtime. The third time, you say nothing whatsoever and you put her back into her bed. I had Mum get Layla into bed at 8 o'clock. Definitely a more reasonable time than before. Love you, big girl. Good night, honey. All right, do it. OK. Good night. She's in bed. Right. Let's switch lights off. I am going to be here. You are going to be OK. Mm -hmm. OK, you are going to be OK. I'm here. Joe was like, hey, pull it together. You know, I'm here for you. Let's do it. And I knew at that moment that, you know, this was something that had to happen. <sighs> okay. I was waiting for Alice and Anthony to go to bed so that I could walk Mum through the technique. And as soon as Mum and Dad went to bed, Layla was out of her room trying to get into theirs. What's the first thing you say? No, Layla, it's time to go to bed. Bedtime. The third time, you say nothing now. From now on, you say nothing. Okay, you just, you just take her by the hand and you take her back into her bed. Oh, Layla, she tried every trick in that book. Okay, you ignore that and you put it straight back into a bed. There were times where I was ready to fall apart, but Joe gave me the strength, she gave me the knowledge. Okay, you're doing really well. Yeah. Stay strong okay. with Layla because she recognizes it. Layla got out of bed 17 times, but it only took 45 minutes, and then she was down for the whole night. I'm really, really happy with the way things went, and so I know the technique, I got it down, and I'm gonna do it every night. You've done a marvelous job. Tomorrow you've got to show up that you're being consistent, and that's the important key mm. here. It'll be really nice to get my bed back, so I'm gonna stick with it. Right, go get some shut eye, and I'll see you in the morning. Okay. You know, it's taken six years of mum pussyfooting around with this bedtime scene, and yet when she really decided that she wanted to change this, clearly Layla's been ready long before mum. The next day when I arrived, Anthony Jr. said that he was going out against mum's wishes. And there's a reason why you're not going, you don't need to go outside today. All right. Ooh, excuse, excuse me. Uh, excuse me? What's that? What? What was he doing? He was just saying move, and I'm saying, oh, really? saying excuse me. Oh, really? Oh, really? Anthony? Anthony, here, please. So, are you going to do nothing? You're going to let your son talk to you like that? That's how you always talk to Oh, and that's all right, is it? No, it ain't all right. Get here right now, please. Right now. Anthony Jr. is 12 years old and by no means a big man. So it's important that we establish limits authority and knit this attitude straight in the bud before it gets worse. Is that okay for him to talk to you like that? No, it's not. I right. don't like when he talks then to me like that. Then you tell him, okay? Because as long as he 
talks to you like that with that attitude and walks out the door, then you're going to have a problem today and tomorrow. Do not tolerate that attitude. All right? You do something about it and you tell him. All Normally right? I it's would, but it'll get it'll eventually get physical. Oh no, 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 no. You need to deal with it now. No, to ignore it, okay. to ignore it means that you're not then going to address it, and okay. I'm here to help you, okay. okay, work through that, all right? Normally, Alice would just hit Anthony Jr. when his behaviour became out of hand, but this was a great opportunity for me to show Alice exactly how to take a different approach. Anthony, you need to go to your room. Ten minutes. You need to think about that, just the way you're talking to me. In order for us to change this, Anthony, all the things that we don't like, the hitting, the swearing. I want it to stop, but you definitely have to work with me, too. I'm glad Joe showed me another way of dealing with little Anthony. I would have spanked him, but I'm definitely sticking with the way, the things that Joe showed us. You have 10 minutes to go upstairs to your room and think about it, and then you can come back downstairs and apologize to me. I was impressed with Mum's restraint and how she dealt with the situation. However, Anthony Jr., you know, I still need to work on him. I did notice that Alicia, who is 14 months, is constantly attached to her mother. She's always hanging off her hip, and if she's not hanging off her hip, she's, um, how do I nicely put this? Hanging off her breast. Is the reason you're still breastfeeding her an emotional one? It's just that feeling of, you know, we love each other, like, you know. It's a special bond. It is. it is a special bond. OK, I just want to acknowledge to you that I see emotionally, you know, the, the difficulty in that, OK? Because it's tough. Yeah. It's tough for women to let go of that bond emotionally. It's a very strong one. For some mothers, it's a very difficult decision to make to stop breastfeeding, and it can be very emotional because of the bond between yourself and your little one. So it really is in your court because I can help you either way, but the decision has to be yours. I mean, I'm, I'm, I want to do it. I want to go ahead and, and try it. OK. I'm ready to wean Alyssa. You know, I've been wanting to do it for months. You know, I just don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it on my own. We are going to start to untie that ribbon that attaches you to her in that way through the breast, OK? So we can have a healthy relationship that's not connected emotionally yeah. through here. Okay. All right? Okay. And I'm glad that you've come to that decision because it shows me that you're ready for personal growth which is good, and there'll be much benefit for you and for Alicia. As it was Alicia's nap time, it was a perfect moment to see if Alicia and Mum could move on to the next step. I would like you, OK, to put between the pair of you, just something across your breast here, OK? Just put a blanket across, OK, or a pillow just rolled, all right, so that you're near her, you've got your face near her with the bottle, OK, around, but this is cut off. OK. And then place the bottle. OK. You ready to go, Nene? Here. Yeah. And right away, Alicia got really fussy because she didn't want the bottle. She wanted Mum. <laughs> Lucy, this is for you, OK? Yeah. OK, look. This is where we're at. For your breast, push it where your oh. pillow is. All right? And then you can kiss her and stroke her. Give her the bottle. Yes. I wanted to turn around and talk to Joe and be like, it's hard, Joe, I can't. And this is what I was so afraid of. I'm like, this is so hard. Lay down so that your puppy is if you're laying down with her. Here, baby. It's right here. Look. And leave a bottle here. She's either going to take it or she's not. The importance wasn't that Alicia take the bottle, but that she get herself off to sleep without using Mum's breast as the pacifier. Come here. Try not to talk, OK? But you can hum. <laughs> With only 10 minutes of Mum comforting Alicia, she fell asleep. Once she's down, yeah, put two pillows either side of her to engage her in.
I cannot believe it. That has never happened. I've always laid there, always nursing her. For such an emotional time for Mom, she did a fantastic job. She kept herself very detached and focused and achieved. Thank you. Did you. good. You're Thank welcome. Thank you so much. Hey, you're welcome. Come here. Come here. For the next couple days, with me having to carry on the techniques that Joe taught me, it's going to be hard. See you when I get back. OK. <laughs> Give me a hug, big boy. Listen, give me a big hug. Give me a big hug. Hey, you're not too big for a hug. Come here. Give me a hug. There's no doubt that Alice has made some really great strides, but old habits do take time to change. So I just hope she doesn't go back to them whilst I'm not there. See you when I come back. Bye. 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 Alice has made a ton of progress whilst I've been there, and now it's time for us to see, whilst I've been gone, whether she's moved forward or gone back. Ready to take a look? Ready to take a look. OK, let's do so then. My baby. Oh, She love this cup, don't she? <laughs> yeah, one here, one on the side. Wonderful to see. I, I can't talk. I just need to take my milk first as it's dribbling out of her mouth to try and talk at the same time. <laughs> that was that was good, yeah. Is your relationship different because she's not being breastfed now? No. No, not okay. Not at all. I was so worried about the relationship with me and Alyssa, but I mean it's the same, if not better, because we both getting proper sleep now, you know not having to nurse in the middle of the night. And, you know, she's able to move around a lot more and play a lot with the kids versus being nursed. Psychologically, you're not bruised, are you? You're not damaged, you're not scarred. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> I'm not, actually. I thought I would just be falling apart and I'll just never get over this moment that I would not be nursing Alyssa. You know, it's great. I feel good. I feel really good about this. It's, it's amazing that so soon, it happened. She winged her off, and she stuck with it. She was committed to it. Lissy accepted, because now Lissy's not, you know, that attached to the point where she's like her gallon of milk. She has to cling to her mm. to get what she needs. So it's good. Right. There we go, and a healthy relationship Absolutely. alongside with it. Well done. Great to see. Let's move on to the next one. Come on, guys. I'm proud of you, guys. Can you help me put this book in? Okay. Okay. I don't know if hearing it. Uh, uh, uh. Mom, why everybody still up? Shh, Layla, please. Don't make this hard, okay? That's got to the point that he's not even getting out of bed. He's just <laughs> <laughs> create the walker sign language. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen where you've gone wrong? Mm -hmm. Too much engagement, too much communication with her, um, too many chances. Yeah, really, it was about the space and the communication. You started to communicate with her silently through your body language. You know, feeling like I don't really want to get up, but if I just throw a hand single signal, maybe she'll get the gist and she'll go back. But it's still communication. It does mean you've got to get up, you've got to put her back in that bed. Definitely a little bit more tweaking with regards to sleeping. And of course, everything else that generally goes on whilst I'm here today. Does that feel good to the pair of you? Yeah. Absolutely. OK. So let's continue then. OK. Let's do it. I've seen some major attitude from Anthony Jr. Some of that was because he was 12 and almost, you know, a little big man. If mum and dad don't get a grip on this now, it could be far worse by the time he gets into his late teens. 
So I had arranged for Anthony and Anthony Jr. to meet a very special friend of mine at the Illinois Institute of Technology. What's up, Wade? What's up, Bob? What's going on? How you doing? Good to meet you. Pleasure meeting you. What's up, big man? <laughs> First I heard a lot about. What's up with you? My mouth was dropped. I mean, the way it was like a real shock. It was like a real big surprise. I wasn't really thinking he would actually just show up in person like that. Let me see something, man. Let me see a shot. Get nervous, man. Just shoot it. Dwayne Wade is a guard of the reigning champions, the Miami Heat. He's an NBA all-star player and a big role model for many young children out there today. And I felt that his words would really carry a lot of weight with Anthony Jr. So, Dwayne, I was telling Anthony that there's much to be said about commitment, right, and effort when you're on the court, but when you're at home as well. Yeah, I heard you got a lot of skills on the court, but you could be a great basketball player but you want people to like you, and you want people to respect the person that you are. It all starts at home. It all starts with you know, your mother and your father. Um, family is very important, and I know that because I have a wife and a son. It's not just about me as a person, it's about everyone. And that's how a basketball team is. You know, you can't win ball games by yourself. You gotta have teammates, even though you might be the best player, everyone play their roles, we won a championship. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. I appreciate the words of wisdom that he gave my son, and I hope that, you know, the words stuck in deep to Anthony. They're making sense. Go shoot some hoops. Look, he's asked yeah, you what you got. Go and show him. Let me see something. Let me see huh? something. He's asked. All right, well, stick me then. <laughs> you don't want me to stick you, but stick me then. Y'all got this on camera. Playing one on one with Dwayne Wade, I was still kind of like in shock. Oh, stay down. Oh. Oh. <laughs> First one of two wins, one on one. Count on Anthony Jr. Oh! Coming from him, I'll probably listen to him a little more. You gotta get two buckets. First one of two buckets win. Oh, one. You got AJ. Oh. Oh, Joe couldn't have done anything bigger or better. The message that Dwayne Wade gave to Anthony, he just embraced the words of, of confidence that he gave him. Him changing, him being more respectful and, and um, being a better person. You understand what I'm saying, though? Huh? I make us proud, baby. Alice has made some big changes, and we've already succeeded in getting one little girl out of bed. And now that she's not nursing Alicia, it's time to get the other little one out of the bed. The next stage we're going to do is to get Alicia now sleeping in her own crib. And I was like, oh wow, this is this is going to be a, a challenge. This is, you know, it's like pulling teeth. So together we set up a crib in Mum and Dad's room, please. And now it's time to give her a nap. Out, put her in a sleep suit. All right, nice kisses. Oh, we have time for sleepy, darling, OK? Yeah. Time to go night -night. Give her the teddy to cuddle. Right, then come away. And come away. That's it. Hey, everybody out, please. The thoughts that went through my mind was like, oh, my god, this, this probably will not even work. Now, you can hear that she's gone from a high pitch down to a lower pitch and it's spacing out. So it's important that what we listen to and hear how far away it is from the next one. I told Mum and Dad to wait five minutes before going back into the room to see if she'd calm down. <laughs> Even though we've done our five minutes, we're not hearing anything. That is great. That is great. <laughs> Why couldn't we have done this a long time ago? Well, I think mainly because you guys were ready for change. Mm hmm Now, who's itching to see? Me. Just take a back and to speak. <laughs> and sure enough, within five minutes, Alicia was asleep, and Mum and Dad were stunned. I was like, oh, my God. I cannot believe it. My baby is actually sleeping in her bed. She's holding a teddy bear. I am so happy. Sweet little Alicia, she went out like a light. And Layla come over to me because she wanted to share something with me. I'm so glad that I'm sleeping in my room so I can, I can stretch out. Exactly, you can stretch out. <laughs> I think everybody's happy to be yeah. able to stretch out. <laughs> So, look, listen, guys, I'm going. Bye. I'm going to go. Miss you. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Thank you, thank you. But you keep in touch with me, all right? And let me know how you get along in your bedroom. Just learning some stuff from Joe, I feel as though that it opened my eyes up to realizing that, you know, I can change. I can be a better dad. I can be a better person. I can be a better husband. You're the princess in your own bed now. Take care. Take care of yourself, all right? Bye, Alicia. Yeah. Take care. OK. Take care of yourself. I will. All the things that Joe has done for my family, I mean, she's given us a lot. Our life has changed completely with Joe being there with us. Just keep up with all this hard work. You've put so much into place. Just remember, keep up. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye. 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 The Walker family are a classic example of how two parents found it emotionally very difficult to allow their children to move forward. But once they had both made a decision to really focus on what they did want and not what they didn't want, they achieved more in a few days than they had in six years. Yeah, you do it. <laughs> Joe brought peace to my house. She set the stage for communication to open up more. Watch Rico. the baby. Oh! See how my body is. Let's get the ball. Let's get the ball. I think it's going to start with me showing Anthony sometime where you just have to set some of your differences aside and just work with people a little more. Get it, Lane. If it starts with me, it'll end with him. And you know what? We want to give you choices. Yeah, yeah I'm using what I learned. That's what I'm doing. My method of discipline with the kids um, has definitely changed. Instead of having to spank, now we communicate with each other. And then make sure you crumble it up, get the raisins. You suck. Now me and my family spend a lot of time together. Ah, yeah! Now I have a better relationship with my parents. Come here! Layla's doing well. She's proud of being in her room. Layla's looking real forward to having sleepovers. Bear time in my house now is, is one of the best parts of the day for me. Now me and my husband, we can definitely spend time together and not have the kids in the middle of us. Now I get my ass. <laughs> mm. Love you, big girl. I'm a big girl now because I sleep in my own bedroom. Don't get baby time. Here, let's see. Lissy's becoming more independent, and she's playing and interacting with everybody else. With me not nursing Alyssa, I realized that we still have that bond there. There's nothing missing. It's a lot more, actually, because we're allowed to do a lot more together. Woo! Good job, Steve! I am so proud of my family for the changes that we made. We are, we are very happy. We are excited, and we're so glad that we've done what we did with, with Joe coming to our house.